Key measurement for knowledge is experience. For example, I know I'm communicating to you through my webcam right now. Um, you're either watching this on my YouTube channel or on my website, revolutionarylifestyledesign.com. Okay, excluding the theory, like some of you smart guys would say, well, Will, how do you know that we don't live in a simulation? Okay, um, I don't know that. But as far as the, the definition of the word knowledge goes and the definition of the word certainty goes, the key metric, um, because if we're in a simulation, all definitions ultimately um, are without meaning. But if we're actually using the definition of these words, and at the end of the day, it's a, it's a word game. I've told you guys that before. You know, if you've got ears, you can hear what I'm saying. Um, but we're talking about knowledge, right? And uh, knowledge in my garage, as Ty Lopez would say, you know, we're talking about knowledge is the highest level of certainty. The metric is experience. Um, you know, I know I'm a male. You know, I know that I'm 37. Um, I have experience of all that. I know that I can see you right now. I know you're watching this on either YouTube or my website. Um, all that's from experience. And um, the experience of uh, my past past experience in memories, okay? Yes, memory can be faulty, but ultimately um, I trust the memories that I have when I'm speaking about knowledge. Again, I don't want to get into a debate over semantics. We're using the actual dic dictionary definitions of the terms, okay? Um, and the idea is knowledge is about experience, and knowledge is the highest level of certainty, and knowledge is higher than beliefs. And this is where a lot of people make mistakes. They will confuse beliefs for experiential knowledge, or they'll confuse knowledge for theories, and they won't even allow themselves to theorize like, hey, could I be doing better? Um, you know, could I make a million dollars? They they know with they've assumed a false sense of certainty, a false sense of knowledge that they can't achieve that, or they can't achieve a happier quality of life, or they can't achieve success with women because of X factors, um, or they can't achieve better results in any area of life. Um, so knowing those points okay and it's a good thing for you to have a look at the notes because this is deep stuff um, knowing those points the questions become are my theories serving me by allowing me to create a better life and are my beliefs accurate or am i limiting my potential by limiting my beliefs and mistaking those beliefs for certain for knowledge and certainty and if you are it's, it's sitting down right now and saying like you know running through your theories like what what are these serving me you know are all of these serving me um are all my beliefs accurate is there any area that i'm limiting my potential you know am i am i making an excuse am i um, not using accurate data have i tested every single method to get those results have i really put effort into it um and a lot of the time you'll find that it's not the case um I certainly do, you know, I still keep, probably the rest of my life will keep finding blind spots and areas and new angles. And that's the true beauty of learning and, and knowledge is, is being able to consistently get after new theories, get after new beliefs, but not for the sense of just being open-minded, you know. I hate this term because it's just so misused. A lot of the times you need to be judgmental and close-minded. Um, but it's about asking the right questions, you know, in terms of specific, you know, specifically, you know, tunnel vision in on the theories and the beliefs that are going to create a better quality of life. The rest of the stuff you can just screen out, okay? It's cute to think about the simulation theory. I put a ton of time into thinking about spirituality, the nature of the reality, et cetera, et cetera. But I just dropped my mom off at the airport. She came to visit me in Eastern Europe. That's a very real thing. It, it's um, for all intents and purposes. You've got to give the passports, et cetera, et cetera. It's the same thing every day, man. Um, there's a real physical reality that I have to deal with. All the philosophy is cute and whatever. 
Um, but the, the most beneficial use of, of your brain and your thinking is in terms of you know minimizing your suffering, um, maximizing the amount of enjoyment you get out of life, um, figuring out ways to live better in accordance with your values, the things that you, you know truly inspire you, so you don't have to rely on motivation. I do believe you need um, some um, type of motivation to get you away your back against the wall um, to be able to get control over your own income but ultimately you know you create a life where you're living in inspiration not motivation and dedication comes naturally and what can you do to better create that for yourself and if you need some help with this um, you know if you really want some game changing mindset shifts um, you know I don't want to uh, seem like I'm, I'm too proud of myself but I think that in that area is an area where I really excel.